Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Education District 1 collaborated with the Parliamentary Representative for Babono Honorable Ezekiel Joseph to host the 2019 edition of Academic Awards. The ceremony honored students from all schools within the Babano constituency who excelled in the 2019 Common Entrance Examination. Students who scored above 75% received a $200 gift voucher and the top performing students from each school received a laptop. Cyrus Sipal, District 1 Education Officer, congratulated the students on their performance in the 2019 Common Entrance Examination. Parliamentary Representative for Babano Honorable Ezekiel Joseph commended the Boji's Combined School for achieving second place ranking in the 2019 examination. Honorable Ezekiel Joseph encouraged the district office, principals and teachers to continue the rewarding work being done with the students in the District 1. The Academic Award Ceremony took place on Wednesday, September 25th at the Babano Multipurpose Center. The St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority Slasper officially closed the curtains of its inaugural port showcase on September 25, 2019 at the Haber Club Hotel, official home of Slasper Port Showcase. Under the theme, The Promenade of Port Connectivity, this event was the first of its kind for Slasper, St. Lucia and the region. The historic event aimed to promote community, connectivity, convergence, build relationships with customers, partners and stakeholders within the air and seaport community and inspire students and aspiring entrepreneurs to pursue air and seaport related careers and avenues. The Port Showcase saw enlightening panel discussions with 15 featured speakers ranging from tourism specialists, industry executives, management specialists and aviation industry leaders who brought talks that extended from St. Lucia's cruise tourism industry, creating a safer environment, operating a multi-purpose use port, air cargo services and master planning of the new Uranora International Airport. In a move to forge a closer relationship with the community and consumers at large, agriculture leaders, in partnership with the Taiwanese Embassy, has initiated a series of events which will serve to build interest in our locally produced food, the people who grow them, and the needs of the consumers who buy our food. This forms part of the newly initiated import substitution project which focuses efforts on increased production of seven cash crops which is believed to assist in the Ministry of Agriculture's strategy to reduce the National Food Import Bill. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.